Hey, what's going on? This is Steven C. Raphael, the OMAD man. Um, I'd just like to say it's going to be almost New Year's Eve here. And I would like to say that uh, if, uh, if it's, you know, it's been Christmas a couple days ago, and if you've already gotten off your work plan, you know, your, your OMAD one meal a day, your 1,300, 1,400 calories or whatever it is, you know, you could get back on track now. You know, New Year's Eve is coming, and then you've got that, the old, you know, da da can all acquainted be for God, da 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 You're going to have a whole big party. You're going to have hors d'oeuvres. You're going to have this. I eat one meal a day at 5 o'clock. I want from this to this. Yes. I, you know, I show this picture all the time. I had Balloon Nation. I had Balloon Atory. Look at that. Look at my cheeks. You know, I'll tell you one thing. If I was on, if I got shipwrecked and I got on an island, I would like, I would like to eat this guy's cheeks. I could just, uh, I have a lot of meat on me, but I got rid of it. Now, I want to tell you one thing. I wasn't even going to tell you, but about three or four days ago, uh, I thought, you know, I'm Mr. Omeb and I can eat whatever I want. And I pretty much can now. I've lost so much weight and I feel incredible. I could just, look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm just full of passion about losing my weight and feeling good went from 200 pounds. I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, I was a fat, I was a fat, I was a fat man. Whoo, that was a new variation. Okay, but I ate a little bit way too much carbs just to experiment. My blood sugar almost doubled because I, I and I woke up the next morning. I, I got to do a show today. This is the first five, time in five months, in two weeks. Don't be disappointed in old madman because I'm the old madman burning up my fat here every day. I did it for an experiment. And usually, you know, I could eat whatever and my blood sugar doesn't spike anymore. I used to have diabetes type 2, but it's fixed. But yeah, I woke up and I just didn't feel good. And I, Well, I also took some sleeping medicine that night with some syrup. But um, I woke up and I had to walk around for about an hour and a half. But the thing I wanted to say is I was dumb. I couldn't think. Are you dumb? Uh, when I, like seven months ago or six months ago, I used to st 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 stutter and I couldn't even see across the room. Now I don't even need glasses when I drive. I don't need, I could see like a hawk now because my eyesight is, is beautiful. But I was totally, I woke up and I, just, I couldn't think. See, now I can talk real fast, but, but, but before with high blood. See, your, your blood is going like this from your head to your toe, boop, boop. Boop, boop. It's on my head, it's on my toe, it's on my toe, it's on my head. It's in. That's how your blood goes. Your heart beats and the blood goes. But with blood, but with having high sugar, with um, diabetes or undiabetes, if you eat a lot of food, your pancreas and everything's trying to fix everything in your body. And what's happening is it's going boo, 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 boo. So your brain is going, I thought I saw a rabbit. I mean, you just, so, but then after about an hour and a half walking, I started feeling back like the OMAD man, and that won't happen again. So the basics of OMAD is you take, you take one plate, and you, uh, you, you got to find a certain time. I know I go over this every day. Uh, repetition is the mother of scale, but this might be just, this might be somebody who's only, video of OMAD one meal a day. And there's a lot of different OMAD people, but you know, I like to stick to, uh, um, I like to stick to one guy because I started watching a whole bunch of other guys. He said, yeah, you could have cream and sugar in your coffee or one said you could have splurged days once a week, maybe once every other week, but why have a cheat day? Why cheat yourself? If you want to have a cheat day, just eat a little bit more on your one meal and that'll be your cheat day. Okay, so you just take one plate and I put a little bit of boneless, skinless, breastless chicken and some salad, a little bit of fat for salad dressing and some protein and stuff like that. But you can eat what you like, but just have one plate and no snacking, no grazing. But pick a time. Uh, you got to have the same time every single day. And, um, you know, I was just watching the show where somebody, it's already been four minutes, where somebody says, um, you know, they're talking about dieting. It was about Dr. Oz and about this lady in the red dress. And you could, you could find it. But um, she says, well, you can't deny yourself. You have to live. Yeah, I mean, here's coming from a lady who was like 300 pounds her entire life or 400 pounds. You have to live. So she, her perception of living is eating. you got to have, you know, pizzas and nachos and burritos and go out and have Chinese. you got to live. That's not living. Living is being with your friends. Living is being, you know, climbing a 
mountain or, or, or having somebody pour you some coffee, being in a friend's house or walking around in a mall. You don't have to buy anything. You just carpe diem, live in the moment, being happy. Nothing is more important than happiness. Yeah, my brothers have more money than me, but they're probably not happier than me. I really don't think they are. <clears throat> and they're sure they can't play. They can't play the piano like Yeah, ah, they, can't, they can't play piano like me. Okay, now one thing I'd like to say is, Use your brain power. You know, if you if this you know this is one meal a day, I've lost all this weight. I went from this to this, and uh, I mean, you know, all these. It, it doesn't have anything to do with status or money. Look at this guy. Everybody knows who that star is. Look at this. He lost a hundred pounds. I always say it, it, it cures your ADHD. It'll cure your help you with bipolar. Can I get an amen? You know, I do this all the time. Um, let's see. That my hair. I grew my head. Everybody knows all this kind of stuff. You know, I have all these. There's me with the average size. Girl, oh my God, I was so big and hungry. But, you know, um, the, the, here, it, hold on. It is time for Chinese proverb time. Now, the error of one moment, one moment, this is for weight loss. The error of one moment becomes the sorrow of a lifetime. You could pertain that metaphor or that uh, Zen proverb towards weight loss. You know, if you're going to go in the other room, okay, I've watched the Steven C. Raphael OMED show, and, but now I want to go and I want to have something to eat. You know, one decision, one decision leads to a lifetime of sorrow. And that's my... I don't have my chopsticks up here. I did. I, I say I eat everything with chopsticks. It makes things way slower. Okay, um, and so, you know, food isn't a hobby. My brothers used to say, hey, you want to go do Chinese? And my friends would go, want to go do, what do you mean go do Chinese? Hey, you want to go bowling? Hey, you want to go do miniature golf? Hey, you want to go over to Jane's house and hang out? Hey, you want to go do Mexican? Are you hungry? Hell no, I'm not hungry. Let's go do, but it, you know, it'll satiate you and you'll have something to do. But going back to the lady in the red dress, Dr. Oz, okay. Thing about her was she lost 200 pounds. She said she was sick of being a fat lady and bravo, my hats off to her. La, la, la. Okay, so bravo to her. She's still, in my opinion, needs to lose about 70 pounds. Um, and I don't know if she's done losing weight or not, but the thing about it is she goes, I wake up, Dr. Oz. And I have a half a muffin with some light butter cream cheese up that thing. Then I have, and then the, she, she showed like four bottles, then a lot of water. That fills me till 12. And then I have a little bit of turkey bacon and just a half a piece of bread and a, a little bit of parsley. And that fills me till dinner. And then dinner I have a little salad and a little bit of chicken. And then after that I might to have myself a scoop of ice cream because you can't deny yourself. You have to live. Going back to the mindset. You know, if anybody ate like that, they'd lose tons of weight. But the thing about it is she's depriving herself all day and she made a decision. That's all it is. Kaidir uh, means to cut in Latin. Decided. She decided she's not going to be fat like that. And um, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I almost have 500 subscribers. Like and subscribe, share, whatever. Okay. Um, I know it's a big hassle. Okay, um, and uh, that uh, life is better with friends. Life is better with friends. You gotta find things to do. When I was laying in bed for two years after my heart attack and they put four arteries up my, or some balloon thing, I don't know, I got these four, because I ate uh, uh, all this food. Um, let me tell you something, don't exercise. You don't need to exercise because if you exercise, you will be very tired and then you'll want to eat. You'll want to have a treat and specially carbs and carbs make you hungry and you I went into my falsetto. I had a student that had a falsetto teeth. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Okay, so don't, I wouldn't exercise because the show has already been nine minutes. Um, because you'll be so active. You want to go to, you want to go back to school. You want to do your friends. You want to go to the mall. You want to go to clubs. You want to go to 
go to the casino and walk around and look how pretty the, I don't play, I don't gamble or anything, you know, and uh, go walk around somewhere free, go to a park, go shop. You're going to have to shop for new clothes. I was in bed for two, two years. My wife was, is a, um, um, uh, enabler and all that kind of stuff. You know, uh, going back to that lady in the red dress again, thank you. It's so great that she lost that weight. Um, but if she just ate one meal a day, she could eat whatever she wants. She doesn't need to eat these little slivers. And then she talks about her pizza day. Basically, her pizza day was taking one piece of the size of a piece of binder paper or a piece of paper, and she put salad stuff on it and a little bit of red stuff, and and she called it a pizza. It was basically a salad on a piece of paper. Uh, you know, she could have pizza if she wants on OMAD eating one meal a day. I do this show every single day, like and subscribe. Now, I'd like to talk about the evolution of music with me. I start off with, with rock and roll. I'm a killer, I'm a killer man. I was a singer in rock band since sixth grade till college and high school. Then after that, I discovered Queen. And I became ashamed of myself and I went into classical. And after that, the evolution of me, then I did 30s and 40s. I gotta see what my bond, I wear a bonnet. And then after that, I learned that I did show tunes. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on to tomorrow. And then after that, I got into blues. Then I got into jazz. And this is all I have to do with weight loss. This will be over in a minute. Then I did boogie woogie. And then after that, I did ragtime. Okay, then after that, I did, uh, I did opera. And then after that, I did comic opera. I am a fat, fat man. I was a thin, thin man. I was a fat, fat man. Okay, and then after that, I went to music theory. D, G goes to C, as F goes into C sharp. Harmony, reharmony, and then composition. Okay, and now my evolution of my dieting has been I use diet pills, then I starve myself. I use the cabbage diet group. I use Atkins. I tried Herbalife, and I tried selling it when I was younger. Um, then I tried no eating, trying to look like a thin heroin addict rock star. When I was a kid, I thought, whoa, that's cool. Uh, white knuckling it. I've tried um, fasting. I'd lose like five pounds for the day. I paid a trainer $40 per session just to say, do a push-up, do a push-up. Um, I had a, when I did diabetes, I, I, did, I ate every single hour just a little bit of uh, superfoods. Went to Weight Watchers, lost 17 pounds, but it didn't stick. I had to worry about points. I went to over, over, Overeat Anonymous, and I went to... That was only once a week. I tried so many things and it didn't last. I tried so many things and it didn't last. But with music and with Weight Watchers and with evolution, only thing that's ever lasted that I have a body like this. Woo! I got 30 30s. I got all new clothes and I feel terrific. I'm in the zone. I'm in the flow. I feel awesome. And I hope you feel awesome after watching my show. So, goodbye everybody, I've got to go. I've got to motivate someone else in life. Okay, eat one meal a day, one meal a day, it's that easy. Eat one meal a day. I like you. Back to the planet of OMAD.